So there he coaches most of the teams. Home home teacher, grade four. P teacher, you teach? No, I'm not a PE teacher. I'm a counselor actually. High school. High school counselor. I'm a counselor, counselor for high okay. school. So I'm just here, here to. Awesome. Okay, you, you, you probably have some information for us. Yeah. And uh, swim teacher. Perfect. So we're going to talk a little bit about our coaching philosophy in primary. So I need you to come to me around the table. Please share your ideas, right? So if you've seen the presentation from Mr. Kerbin on Zoom about physical literacy, yeah. um, which is very much on, 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 on the primary part, this is connected to it. Um, and I'll tell a little bit about it. Let me go through my slides and then we can... So this is our, so you back which is the five schools, right? They have a mission. Like Doc was saying in a few uh, this afternoon, seems like ages ago. Um, this is our purpose and our mission. Okay. What we want from you, Ben, is that our kids get an opportunity to play against each other and to learn through sports. That's our purpose, that's our mission, right? And all of these workshops, everything we do is connected to that. Uh, the funny thing is here, this is a overall purpose, overall mission, but there's nothing in the handbook about primary. This, this is actually the handbook. This is all, this is all part, this is the only thing we have about primary sports. This is it. So, now the mission and the purpose, it all applies to all the ages, right? But I want to think a little bit more specific on primary, under 11 sports, because it's a bit different than, than, than the high school sports. So these are the basic rules that we use um, for, the, for the different sports. This is it. We need more of this. But that's why I want your, your input in it. What can we do for our kids? Now, just a few slides which are connected to uh, Mr. Silvis' presentation. Um, so, it's all about, primary school only about the fundamentals. The skills, fun in sports, participation. We want every kid to be involved, to be inclusive. When a girl comes to me, can I join the handball team? I'm like, for sure. I don't care what the level is, we still, they need to join. But we do organize events for our kids. So I think the link, what do, how do we want our events to look like? And I would like to have some, some kind of philosophy statement in our handbook that when someone new comes in and he's hosting under 11 basketball for primary, that he sees what we are all about. I'll tell a little bit about what we've been doing so far. So, um, Again, physical literacy, you know, getting uh, social. For some kids, it's only, uh, it's only about social. They, they're joining a team, and that's already scary enough for them. Some kids, they need that running around at the end of the day just to reach some energy, and some kids learn through sports. So it's, it's different things for every kid. And this is actually a very nice picture uh, about the level so we are all about starting. Okay, well, active start, getting, getting kids active, getting a boy like last year, like Yungi, yeah. getting him there, if he had a, he had a Korean kid, that was a way of him connecting with others. He never played. It was, it was amazing to see him learning a few things through sports. The fun, fun, the mentals, right? Sports are fun. He said um, it was the, the best day of his life. It was the best day of his life. He was playing soccer, the ball came and he ran away. He had the best day of his life. It was awesome. <laughs> and um, the learn to train, I don't think it's that important yet for a primary school. The most important thing that we've been doing is to get kids together. Get the BG kids to learn about the IG kids. Because some of these kids never go to other schools. Mm -hmm. Right? So, let's see what my next slide is. Okay, so at UBAC, because I'm going to open up something and we can discuss something. UBAC, we've been, three years ago, there was nothing for primary, zero. And then you told out and remember that there was nothing for primary. And then we started with a primary competition, where we have three sports and the kids come in and play little round robin. Now there's different ways of, of doing it. Uh, we always said, we give the kids some kind of present at the end. Now you can say, well, they, they participate, so they should get nothing. They should be there to learn, to have fun with each other. So I would like you guys, I'm opening up the link, to think about our philosophy. What do we want for our kids? I've got a few questions that we can discuss.
because this is important for me to fill out the handbook and also for Sheldon that we can, when we host something, that we have an idea of what we, how we want to do it. And we can connect that and share that with our teachers and with our parents. So uh, let me click on the link. So I just put some groups where we can just, uh, I can just grab my laptop actually. So the first question guys, what we, I would like to discuss is how our ideal UBAC season would look like. So now we have three sports. We have handball, basketball, and soccer. Is there something we need to add? Is there something we're missing? Is there something, what would your ideal season look like? Sheldon? So yeah, I think we should, so I remember, so for example, to a lot of my experience in the UK, and what and as Nick will know, what you what you have is you have like your season like this, but at the end you have a you have a sport today. And so I remember we had a meeting and you said about mini Olympics, but the mini Olympics was just playing these three sports, which are handball, basketball, and football. Whereas I think the mini Olympics should include like the track and field. So we keep this as a season and play this, uh, do their handball tournament and do their football tournament and do their um, <coughs> What's your one? Handball. Basketball. Uh, and then basketball. basketball. They, 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 at the end, they all, because the weather's going to be nice, they do the track and field. So they do some throwing in there, so they do some running, some jumping, and, and things like that. I think that'd be nice as well, because it's something different. Okay. I, I like the idea of that, because um, at the moment we do have something like that at school, and I don't think it's ever worked since I've been here. That's the, the, the field day. Yeah, the field day. Field day is athletic. Yeah, because I, I, I think the, so at the end of the year we have like a field day, guys, where the kids have some kind of sports yes. and fun. I think the whole idea of it is wrong. So we need to make it clear what the field day is, right? So if, if, is, if it, is, is it just a fun end of the year event or is it actually a sports day? Mm -hmm. Which is not a sports day because it's only yeah. two hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so, I think if you do it with, but obviously every school would do their own thing, that's different, but I think having you back schools involved and maybe also we can't take every child so maybe the way we do it in our school are uh, I know obviously we don't want to overload them with competition no. but mm -hmm. competition it is important so still getting them to element of, it, of course yeah. so maybe obviously they still have their fun in school but they say you, you might judge it on effort so the person I think is making the most effort I'm going to take you to this mini Olympics and maybe the top three or something, but have, instead of just judging on results, come up with criteria of for them to succeed, then take them to this mini end. It'll give it a reason the fun day then. There'll be a reason for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah then, except fun day then the next kids day. Kids want to turn up and, they, and you know that the kids who are going to be there, they are going to want to be there because they want to pass this criteria in your school sports day, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So would you like to see an extra addition to the sports that we're offering right now? Uh, we do offer swimming for the grade four and fives, mm -hmm. which is in the winter time. So we had a few kids from here last year yeah, that yeah, joined. Yeah. So that's something extra. Yeah, cool. I would like to see, uh, so Oshlan, you're joining swimming this year, right? <laughs> so teacher over here. I would like to see two kinds of sports. So our sports are part of the CCA program. So the kids, the high school sports, secondary are separate. We have the primary kids in the CCAs also with the buses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Add, adding an extra sport to the season, would that be an addition? Do you think, Nick? So we have handball right now. It would be an addition. Yeah. So what is something that we should add? Is that something more like individual, track and field, maybe some racket sports? What, what do you think, Shell? I was thinking, so for like a mini Olympics day, you could have like, yeah. you could have like stations. So let's just say, because I, you have a lot of sports there where you're just watching the track and then, but, and then you, a kid might do one thing and in three hours time they're going to do one thing and they're just waiting. Whereas if you limit the numbers it means you could go around stations, you could have a throwing mm -hmm. station, you could have a running station, you could have jump. a long jump, you could have yeah. a, maybe not a like high jump, you could have a triple jump, jump. Oh. So you could maybe do something like yeah. sk skipping yeah. or um, something like that. And then they go and then they go around, which means they're always doing something. Yep. And then and that's gonna be more then, springtime connected next to the soccer, yeah. or is that something that's so like spring, in the spring, spring, spring kind of? Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, because the idea is to be outside. 
Yeah. So it'd be the end of it. So I'd say, I'd say more the end of it, because it's sort of like, I don't know what it's like in the country, but in the UK, sports day's always like, in July. Here it's not a sports day, and actually it's not a sports day, it's just a fun. Yeah. Fun. But we can make it, we can make it, so like, if people want to get on board, and I know we would do it, we, yeah. we have in, we have like houses, so we have like a school house system, yeah. and then we have like a sports house kind of there, mm-hmm. and that's when it goes down, but that's what I'm saying, you can, you can say, this is great, we're still competing for our house, however, we've got extra criteria, if you can do this, we're going to take you, this is like the first hot stage, if we get this, you know, you get to come to ISU, or then come to us, whatever, and then we're now representing our school, not just our school, how to represent our school against the other universe. You can actually do something where you, where you have, when, when you have track and field drive, then you have like nine different activities. You can mm-hmm. actually put three in the first season, three in the mid season, three in the end, and then you have a little thing, and at the end it all builds up at yeah, the end of the year, yeah. something like that, right? Or some kind of gymnastics or some kind of, that the kids have something else. I always feel it's a bit because now that we have only two girls now and lots of boys. How's your balance, Sheldon, with the boys and girls? Do you have lots of girls signing up or for sports? I'd say it's quite mixed. I'd, I'd say it's quite an even split. They've got quite a few more than us. Yeah, Rachel, how many kids do you now have in primary? Do you know? Uh, for primary, we have um, 500. Yeah, oh. a few more than us. Yeah, we, we, we have in primary, primary, we've got about three. So we should see if we can put something through the year, and maybe another option. So I really like the, I really like the gymnastics idea as well. That could be a great winter, but if yeah. you have swimming, gymnastics would actually be in the first part of the year, and then swimming in the mid, and then you have the track and field. So you could like get them working the work with teams and come up with like floor routines or something like that, and then they're kind of judge as a score on floor yeah, routines. Like that acrobatics or something, yeah. with little groups of six or something. So that's one thing that we, like, I'm, that with our kind of sports day, we did that last year, and they have to, in PE, to do that, if you work on just sequences. So for example, year, as young as year three, they just have to show me a jump, roll, shape, jump sequence, mm-hmm. and, who, and then they'll get judged from there on that sequence. Yeah. But also you can do it with, because some kids, um, a lot of kids have asked, like, oh, can we do dance in here? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we can do stuff like that yeah. because yeah. dance still comes under that. Because I think that connection with the P department, and that's something that's... Mm-hmm. That, 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 yeah, that, that, that we're going to have more when Kevin is here, that connection between P and the athletics, and that same philosophy. Yeah. yeah. I think it's uh, actually, I think, really essential for our school, because it's only 80. So that extra dimension, because of the, 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 they're going to be like, they're going to be rattling around here. Mm-hmm. I think with the connections to other schools are going to be yeah. quite. Because one thing I really know, one thing I noticed is um, when we come to the football, when we come to the football thing, I try to keep it like I've never like year five or six. But you've got so many kids who want to do it. Mm-hmm. And I realise you come here, and I realise you have a lot of younger kids, and I'm not explaining why. Yeah. we mm-hmm. haven't got the kids to pick. Yeah. To pick them. I just, obviously, is it, is it ever come about where I mean, when I was. When I was at school, we'd go to another school. If we're absolutely chancing, they'd give you your best, their best player. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd mix it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be really, be really cool, cool to do at the end of the year some kind of mix. Yeah, mix yeah. thing. Because it is like if the kids are in these, kids are, the kids are in these bubbles, aren't they? It'd be nice to get them to meet like, other kids yeah. from other schools. Because this what you can actually with my follow up is that do we, how do we see the season, but also how do we see the events? Right, so in the beginning we had just round robins. So all the so I had nine nine teams, right? And all the team I tried to make a schedule where all the teams had at least four games. Parents come to me complaining, yeah, you didn't have a scoreboard. Or when is the award ceremony? Mm-hmm. So that whole philosophy part where kids where parents don't understand it, that this could be a very good connection. Well, it's it's well, that's done. Because that's done. I mean yeah, it doesn't matter if you if, if we win. Because we're not gonna win, because we're getting mixed up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Lovely. I think it's lovely. Mm-hmm. When should we, what kind of event should we plan that with? What do you guys think? Is that something that we should do once a year where we just have a mix UBAC under 11 tournament for, we can even do two sports. Under 11 Where kids 
these you she all you you send out I got ten kids who want to play basketball, I got ten kids handball, ten kids soccer, and we can actually have one gym and outside specifically for the sport and I got eight kids so we mix them up. Yeah. That would be good. Because you, 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 you could also give them like the four game, you could give them ten minutes and just to spend time with each other yeah. and just talk to each other and even like maybe off to someone there supervising, yeah. but no teacher interaction, sort yourself mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Talk to each other, like if you're doing soccer, talk to each other, see if you can figure out what positions you all play and see if they can get their staff on the team on their own. Yeah. Like a small, small team building activity yeah. or a small step in, who's your name, or what, 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 what we have in common. Exactly. Okay. It's, 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 a, yeah, it's another dimension. It's, it is a lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. Cool, guys. So, so this connects to, to our philosophy. So we have this reporting, which is awesome. So that uh, mix, that, that could be something at the end also, right? For the kids who want to do that, it could be in addition to, I think we need to schedule that on the, on the, on the calendar next year. Um, so a philosophy statement, now we don't have to write that down, but what would be, can, 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 can we discuss what, what a UBAC philosophy would be? So for me, it's all about, for under 11, I think it's all about getting the kids out of our bubbles and to connect with the other kids. Yeah, but I also think uh, you could use the word pre preparation or preparing for as they come into under for under fifteen, where there is more of a competitive element. So I always remember when um, back home I went from primary to secondary, and someone said to me like, uh, "Primary kids come up and they can't do anything." Mm. So I, I think that is because I think an element of that is because they just let them play, whereas if they do get an element of and also familiarisation of how events might look when they get older, I think that's going to be really beneficial. So a little bit of the X's and O's about the games. Yeah. So it's also skills, right? Learning yeah. how the games yeah. work. Yeah, of course, because okay. the experience. So when we do our events, try and make them similar to how a secondary event would look like, just so it can make them feel important. And when they get older, they, they know what to expect, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a primary when I was a part you know, and he, he's like a smack in the face. Yeah, yeah. I just can't remember. Yeah, that. really, that's yeah. Just, uh, yeah, no, no, I can't. I can't but remember. you still see it here. Our grade fives go up to grade six and get smacked in the face. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't understand. Like, even yeah. when the kids come in, volleyball under 15, those kids who we can train, they know. First, we set up the nets, then we wait for the coach, then we can get a ball in our hands. But these primary, they, these grades have no clue. Yeah. Definitely. What are, what is your guys' opinion about the how do we value the success of our kids? So some schools and still a lot of the schools when I work in China and Hong Kong, it's all about the awards, even in primary. Do you guys value that, or that you don't think that's important? At the no, end? Well, I don't. I mean, when I was when I was a kid, I was I was a pretty good sportsman. I I think it wasn't about the trophies at all. It was about the participation. Yeah. That was it. It was nothing to do about winning. Especially at the race, right? Yeah. In fact, I was in though, because I had to go up and, and get something. In front of it's, and it's not so much the kids that ask. It's a little bit different because yeah. when I was little, I'm just we just comparing and then, yeah. and also like in the past years, you know, we just have and uh, go to see uh, games and uh, most of the Mongolians, I am not so, sorry, and the uh, coaches is shouting, screaming, and then you must win. Yeah. Da -da -da. Yeah. Talk about that's the tournament, right? Yeah. yeah. That is not that not that they're comfortable for kids. They yeah. play. It's nothing to compare with the, no. the sports. It's a, we need to more also I mean, exclude. Sports, yes. You're excluding people. I mean, yeah. like exclude, you'd be excluding people like Yuki, yeah. for instance, we were talking about before, mm -hmm. who said it's the best day of his life. Well, mm -hmm. if it was about winning, he wouldn't be on the team. He would. He, he wouldn't have been chosen. But it's his best to help his life. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what it's just success, right? And this connects yeah. really well with what Dr. Nzan was talking about. That in Mongolia, there's, that's why we do this. There's an issue between playing for a club. Yeah. We've seen a tournament that are really organized. Sorry, Orgel. But there were some coaches that were very rude to the kids, shouting, and you yeah, know that. Yeah. And well, it's, it's, well, it's got slapped. Got slapped. In slapped. The and that is and not used. That's when oh, parents yeah, see that. Bill, when this is Bill's house, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'm just thinking about this. Is it abuse or not? I'm that is, that is yes. abuse. It's physical abuse. And yeah. 
that was a difficult tournament actually. That was very difficult to watch. Because, yeah, because you had kids that it were, were we chose we could be one attack, be experienced sports mm. and to be happy playing. But then we were against teams outside of school that they weren't mm. clubs. Uh, they were they were clubs and they absolutely trounced at all the school teams. Because actually after that I was wondering we should not have entered actually because it's almost abuse for our kids to yeah. last so bad yeah. and they see this. But, but, that, but that also might be a good thing for people who run it because if if they see, because they, they want the, the international schools in, and if the international schools leave and they ask for the reason, that, that might make it yeah. go, oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah. it might. Yeah. Can we just, to summarize, like having one or two words that represents under 11 primary sports for you guys? So for me, it's all about connections. Community. Uh -huh. It's all about fun. You back, you back community. This community. Well, look, I, I think, think it is. I think it can also go beyond you back. Goals. Yeah. It's about caring for the kids. Caring for kids yeah. and goals. I also think that, like you said, the community is very important. Because I feel that our community is not involved enough. Mm -hmm. So opportunity. Yeah. Like, I mean, like every child has yeah, an opportunity. Inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we try to show them really hard, right? So when we have three teams, in the beginning we mixed everything up. Now we have the younger kids in, in one area. But they, mm -hmm. it's all about that finding that right balance between learning, competing, but not that it, yeah. that, that it becomes too much that you cannot learn. So that's a bit of a, the difference we were making, right? A bit more advanced kids and a bit yeah. beginners. Um, anything else about the primary sports? I think we covered most of it. So mm -hmm. I, I, I will get this one together and I'll kind of draft a philosophy statement for us. Put some words together. I've heard enough today that we have something for primary. I think it's key that these kids get an opportunity to play. And uh, if Sheldon, if you can help me to work out and see the, this, this this structure of this plan, that would be great. I think that mix idea, that's 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 great. I mean, I I, 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 think I I would love to see that because some of our kids are very privileged. I use you, and they're privileged. So if they play with the other school, it, will, it might be very very good for them. Yeah, they, they, they really are. I mean, they really are a couple of our kids. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't come out there at all. So to, to just experience, just to have a chat to someone outside of that. And that's what we're doing in seven minutes, and then see yeah. if they can work out like each other's strengths and weaknesses yeah. just by talking yeah. to each other. Yeah. And it, it eliminates that competitive edge that, that creeps into what we've seen in the past couple of years. You know, when, uh, I'd like to see the end of that. How about yeah. like in uh, low primary as under second grade? We could try to set something. This is a good point. Like in some schools, I know they have only nine. Yeah, because yeah. primary is very good. Yeah, you have to say Yeah, because you always say under um, nine or eleven. It's, it's, it's like that in the UK. It's always yeah. like, the thing was always year five and six. What grades were no grades that would be in this? So yeah, grade five and four. Grade four, yeah. four, five, four, five, four five, 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 five. Whereas I was trying to do um, like football team, uh, football games, or maybe like hockey. Yeah, I don't know hockey, 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 hockey games for years three and four. Was so that grade two and three? Yes. So yes. Yeah. So yeah. It's because that is that's an issue because we do three. Because I remember asking for the first year I was here just four and five, which is five yeah. and six. But, but they wanted three, four, and five. So and the poor three were just. We see so the handball. Yeah. 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 We see the handball. Yeah. 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 I reckon we could change it from when you say under 11. Yeah. We've got eight year old kids who really love to play. Yeah. If we could change it from U11 and U9, and that it might be stretching it to five just to do not nothing. Not an actual sport, but maybe like a mini Olympic, just throw a bean bag or something. Yeah. You could even do a tiny little thing with under sevens. Like just throw awesome. a bean bag and like yeah. whatever, a balancing yeah. beam or something. Like, again, they might still need that. But I think under 11, under 9. So that's two and threes. Two and three. Two, three, and then four and five. Four and five. Two stage one, one, yeah. one yeah. and two. So yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing yeah. is, it's much easier when you have five on and three on kids in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay guys, we're going to finish up. Thank you so much. For now, we're going to the theater, finishing up, and then we eat.
Cool. Yeah? Great. Okay. Cheers. Awesome. Good stuff. All guys.